Hello there, Seraphim17 once again. This is some more Titanfall 2 multiplayer. This is an attrition on Exoplanet. I'm rocking the alternator and I'm running with Ronin. The gameplay here, guys, is post-patch, the most recent patch. Uh, you will notice that the FOV is a little bit expanded, so that might look a little bit different to your game. It may appear as if my character is moving faster than your character, but it's just a difference of perspective and it's in the options if you want to mess with it and see what works for you. The game's standard FOV is 70. Some people like it on 90. You see a lot of PC players using 90. I have this on 110. The only downside I've seen of this particular um, addition to the game is that on Bounty Hunt on Angel City, it makes the frame rate drop. I've not seen any other performance issues in a few hours of playing, but those are the ones that I noticed, so you need to be aware of this, folks. But the alternator. The alternator is one of my favourite SMGs. It's absolutely devastating up close. It has surprisingly good hip fire. I have a sight on it because I am an a ADS player at heart, even though I try not to do it too much, especially with this gun, because it adds an incredible amount of recoil. Right there, you, show, you saw me throwing a hard cover that I could have used here to actually win that gunfight, but I'm an idiot. And you may wonder why I did that. Uh, I'm currently using the... Uh, I forget the name of the, pati the particular boost. It's a boost that lets you have a random boost applied at like 36%, but you don't control which one the game chooses. I only like about 4 or 5 boosts, so when the game gives me something like that, I generally waste it. It's a bad habit I've got, but I would rather get rid of it because I hate having it on the screen. There are so many boosts in this game that I literally despise that it would take this entire video for me to chastise them, but I don't want to do that, so if you're wondering why I was stupid just then, it's because I'm trying to work on, on features of my gameplay. And speaking of features of my gameplay, I'm trying to work on playing Titanfall 2 as I believe the game was meant to be played, which is to be as mobile as you can always wall running, always being a moving target, jumping, and using hip fire. Hip fire on this game is incredibly effective. Some weapons benefit more than others, and you will notice if you watch anybody on PC, because of the precision of a mouse, people hip fire with SMGs acro across the map and have a lot of success. Of course on console, the analogue is a little bit harder to use, so instead the game gives us auto-aim, which is aim assist. It gives us a nice little push towards targets, and the aim assist in this game is incredibly strong. If you use ADS, you can oftentimes completely track a player who's moving with full momentum, wall running and jumping, and you barely did anything to get that kill. It's just part of the game, guys. It's filthy, but it exists. It's one of the main reasons why PC players look down on controllers on PC so heavily, because they can tell that the person who killed them had aim assist assisting them, because the shots are too accurate. No human can do that. That's why we need a little bit of help. However, when you ADS on a game such as this, it lowers your mobility. And the way I want to play is to be as fast as I possibly can, always be moving, and to play this game like I feel it should be played. If I want to move around the map intelligently, using ADS, moving from power point to power point, I'll play Call of Duty because that's where that comes from. That's the game that really reinforced that playstyle for me. Aggressive movement, intelligent placement, ADS is king. Games before that, didn't have ADS, a lot of them. ADS was a new innovation when it came out in, in several games. Hipfire was king back in the good old days, and that's why I think I'm enjoying this game so much, because you can be successful with it. However, aiming it can be quite tricky, and it's something that I'm, I'm definitely working on here, folks. I pick up a quick kill, and I engage in battle against this Ion. You're going to notice a lot of people have realised that Ion's a pretty good Titan, so you're going to see people... Uh, using this Titan a lot more, but if you ever see somebody who's just punching at you with Ion, they're probably not too sure how to use him yet, which there's nothing wrong with that, it's a learning experience as I throw the Fire Star and then try to, to finish off this dude on the ground, and I'm going to be shooting him with my charge rifle to try and just get that final kill, roll off the wall onto him, he pops the smoke, I jump, a couple of quick shots here with the gun, can't see, so I just spam into the smoke, and we get a quick kill on that pilot, and it gets us a pilot sentry gun. And once again, folks, you're going to see me completely waste the pilot sentries because I hate them, as this guy outshoots me and uh, puts me down quickly. But another thing that I'm trying to do with my playstyle, as you can see from the footage right here, is I'm trying to incorporate the air strafing and the bunny hopping, and I'm not too bad at it. 
In these videos, you're not going to see the best examples of it because when I play against people and when I panic, which is what you do when you come up against situations in online games, my brain reverts back to its reptilian side, and its reptilian side is a COD player. So unfortunately, I go against the ethos and the playstyle that I'm wanting to emulate, and I'll just straight up ADS, strafe left and right, kill people, and then run on the ground for a little while. So it can be very difficult to you know, to get that part out of myself, and the whole idea of bunny hopping and strafing and wall running is quite new to me because I didn't play Titanfall 1. And I'm under no illusion I could perform a lot better if I didn't do any of those things, but to me, there's no point in that. I would rather do poorly and and feel like I'm doing what I love about this game than, than play it in a style that I feel just doesn't reflect how great and how fast this can be when, when played in certain ways. And this is me not in any ways condemning or telling people not to play how they want to play. The players in this game frustrate the tits off me, but everybody has their own right to play how they want. And a lot of my playstyle, because I am so aggressive and because I am constantly trying to move, puts me in some really bad situations. And you're probably wondering, like, why the hell did you do that? But it's just what I love to do. It really is. And Ronin is a playstyle that can really reflect that if you get him early. This Titan is the best Titan for killing pilots, bar none. Because if you get Ronin here early, you can decimate teams. But the, the, the places where he really suffers, I think, is when the team has a lot of Titans and then I get tethered and I can't break the tether for some reason. It was really, really stubborn, this one. A lot of the times when I play, I don't know if you're anything like me, but I find myself carrying teams every single lobby. Every single lobby. If I don't do well, our team probably loses. And that's not because I'm an amazing player, I'm nothing special guys, I'm just having fun, I'm learning, I'm trying to improve. But for some reason, I get paired with people who don't shoot titans, who don't seem to understand how to to get titans quickly by shooting enemy titans. So I often find myself in 4v1s and 5v1s, and it should have never got that far. But when I experiment with titans like Ronin, and I mess around with, you know, North Star and stuff, I find myself on the back foot. And a lot of the times I have to run Ion or Scorch just to stay in the battle, because I kinda don't play Tone anymore out of principle. Uh, I love Tone, it was my favorite titan in the beginning. I think it's objectively the best titan because it kicked has everything that can do almost anything, but you see it so much in this game that I just don't want to add to that culture. And I would love people to try the other Titans because there's so much fun to be had, but I come up against full teams of Tones and it's just the state of the game at the moment because of how powerful and how easy to use that particular Titan is. As I push forward on the roof here, looking for more victims, and you'll notice the Reapers are out in full effect and I hate their bones. I hate everything about them. I clip them, I get punched by them and instantly killed, I get chased by three of them at the same time, I pick up a quick kill of a guy stood in a tree, I hate that tree where he is, it kills momentum, it should be invisible, I don't know why it exists, but respawn love to, to cock block me when I'm trying to feel like a badass. I drop down, put a few shots on the, try to hit the weak spot, miss, couple of quick shots from the charge rifle, jump in the Ronin. An enemy running is at the back of me. I push forward, he's close to being dead, he's doomed, he is dead, his buddy's behind there, throw out a quick electric ground shockwave, phase out of the way of trouble, and continue to move. And you might be asking, how do you play a Ronin? And I haven't the slightest clue. But the thing that I think is effective, as I try to hit this guy with a melee when he's doomed, and it doesn't trigger this animation, yet he executes me. Fuck you, game. That's bullshit. But I think Ronin is best played hit and run. It's a titan that if you can flank with it and you can play intelligently, you can do wonderful bursts of damage. If you stay in the pocket with more than one titan, or even just with one titan, they can really hurt you. You need to get on the flank paths, hitting and running, being mobile, use your block, use your phase, and play intelligent. If you don't, you're just going to die. And I am by no means the player to tell you how to be effective with him, but I wanted to show some, or her, I don't know what gender the, uh, the OS is, I don't want to, you know, what am I saying? I wanted to bring you some gameplay using him as I uh, get a quick kill there off the spawn of that particular player. Titans to the left, I throw the fire star, but he's still inside the bubble shield. There's a guy to my left here, and he puts me down with some quick hip fire with the car. Did that seem like the car killed a little quickly then? That to me felt kind of crazy when I was playing. That's the kind of speed the alternator has when you're that close. 
but he got the kill. Good job on him. And I actually quit the match just then. And you might be wondering, why did you do that, Chris? Well, uh, I was currently playing with Heretic at the time, and I had to talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was one of those moments where I was interrupted. But once you get the epilogue, the game has already saved the statistics. You've already been completed the full match. You get the benefits for completing the full match. It's not a rage quit. You do not get negatively affected. You can leave, get in another game immediately, and you can just play more matches more quickly. So it's a good tip if you didn't know you could do that. But thank you for watching, folks. I hope you appreciate the Titanfall 2 content on the channel. I want to bring more of it to you because I find this game really fun. And at the moment, I think it's heavily underappreciated. Uh, there are a lot of games stealing focus that I don't think deserve the attention that they're getting. And then there is a gem like this that's getting ignored. And uh, if I can in any way influence you to pick this game up or even try it at a friend's house, then I, I am happy that I've done that because this really, really, really does deserve to be played and I don't often compliment multiplayer shooters because I'm very picky but this one there's something special here guys thank you for watching you take care now